phosphine found on Venus, some scientists conclude it must be life, and, and people are very ecstatic. See, see, there is extraterrestrial life. Now, it may be microbial, but again, it is important to note that phosphine occurs on this planet industrially or through um, organic means, um, biodecay of materials, digestion, things like that, uh, the decay of poop. Uh, but we don't know that it can occur elsewhere. In fact, on Jupiter and Saturn, phosphine does occur naturally there, not by industrial manufacturing and not by organic decay or anything of the like. There are no microbes floating in the atmosphere of Jupiter that we are aware of, but they have concluded, some scientists have concluded, that there must be microbial life form in the clouds, the sulfuric clouds, no less, of Venus. People were really excited by this news yesterday. Uh, in large part, though, they're making more of it than there is. I mean, let's just say it is a, a microbe floating in the atmosphere of Venus. Where did the microbe come from? Could it have been when Earth was smacked with a giant asteroid that took out the dinosaurs, that organic matter uh, flowed away from the Earth? Well, we've got that uh, rock from Jupiter, the asteroid from Jupiter that landed on, on Earth and had uh, now fossilized bacteria. Did something like that happen from Earth? And now it turns out, by the way, that that, that rock from Mars, several people have told me it appears actually... Uh, that maybe it was uh, it, microbial matter from Earth. But here's the thing. Does it really matter? We go in pursuit of stuff like this. Uh, does it really matter? It, it, you know, there could be life out there. I don't think it matters because we can't travel faster than light. No one's going to build a rocket ship to go to Venus and try to scoop up some of the sulfuric acid and microbes or whatever is causing the phosphine in the atmosphere and bring it back here and see. No one's going to do that. No one's going to fly out to Jupiter and try to scoop up some of the phosphine there and see what's causing it. You're not going to find the little green men of, of extraterrestrial solar systems because the speed of light makes it impossible for us to get there and no one has developed a technology. And by the way, uh, we haven't found any other life out there. Now, there are these curious reports of the Navy encountering unexplained aerial phenomena I put that in the angels and demons camp or the American military, <laughs> the air force screwing with the Navy with technology. The Navy doesn't know about, but there's another point here. Is it not remarkable? It's not remarkable that we have a massive scientific industrial complex. And that's what it is. A scientific industrial complex. You know, they're going to be applying for grants for further study. They're going to be applying for more money now. We have the scientific industrial complex and an American media and an international media that fell head over heels in love with the possibility that there could be life on Venus because a compound that occurs on other planets through non-organic means, but only occurs on this planet through organic means, has occurred on Venus. And it must mean that there is life of some kind on Venus, even though it doesn't mean there's life on Jupiter or Saturn. And that, that just proves that we're not unique. It also proves perhaps we are not alone in the universe. But also the very same people who will do this will argue with you that a fetus is not a life. Or at least is not a human. Now, what can you imagine the reaction would be if Donald Trump decided to ensure that there are no Venetians looking to invade planet Earth, we should fly a probe to Venus and nuke their atmosphere to ensure that the microbial matter uh, does not ever make it to Earth to potentially infect us as we're dealing with COVID-19, nor to ensure that underneath the surface of Venus, unknown to us, there's actually an entire civilization just waiting to come invade. Not only would half of Hollywood actually want to uh, relocate to Venus and join the anti-Trump brigades of Venetians, uh, they would be outraged that the president would want to take the uniqueness of life on Venus and destroy it. You know this and I know this. And yet here in this country and around the world, many of these very same people are perfectly fine with the willful want destruction of human life. 